Hello Shooters, thank you for watching. Today's in first installment in the Sheepdog Academy is shooting a gun while it's moving. I'm gonna, as much as possible for the Sheepdog Academy, I'm going to present drills to you that you can do at an indoor range. And I know there's indoor ranges that have a lot of restrictions. Some of them you can't shoot one-handed. And so, uh, you know, you got to deal with what you got to deal with. Um, this episode is, is shooting when the handgun is moving. So we're going to place a target somewhere between three and five yards. The closer the better, because that way the, the paper's bigger and you're moving the gun around a little bit more. And you're going to move the gun around the paper, around the whole periphery of the paper, and you're just going to tell yourself when to make a shot. If you're at an indoor range, as soon as you hear a shot, you make a shot. As you hear another shot, you make another shot. Some ranges you got to keep, you know, no more rounds than one per second. So, you know, follow the range rules. But this will be a good one to teach you how to break shots when the gun's moving. Because when you're moving, the gun's going to be moving. The bad guy's going to be moving. So we want to simulate some movement that we can do at an indoor range. If you have an outdoor range, you have more latitude. Indoor range, you don't have as much latitude. If you do go to those one of those indoor ranges where you have to hold it two-handed, just make it look like you're holding it two-handed, like I'm doing here. My hand's not really touching the other hand. And, uh, you know, then you can make this drill work for you. Let's, uh, let's go to the range and see what the drill is. It's really important that all of the shots be done one-handed. Here I'm doing it left-handed. You can see I'm moving the gun around the paper. And I'm just breaking the shot off at random intervals. And that's exactly what you want to do. And you want all the rounds to land on paper. This is showing you that your trigger control is fine even though the gun is moving. And you're not steady. Because <laughs> you'll probably not be steady in a gunfight. This is why it's going to help you. You can see the rounds are all on target. Interesting that they're kind of a vertical string there. But that's the way it is. Here I am doing it one-handed, right-handed. If you have to stick your other hand out there to make it look like you're shooting two-handed, do so. But conduct the drill one-handed. Ten rounds right hand, ten rounds left hand. All the shots land on the paper. This is a, a good drill to help you with your trigger control while the gun is moving. So there's the drill, folks. Take it to the range. Try it. Remember, you want all your shots on that 11 and a half, uh, by 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Keep the gun moving the whole time. Don't stop when it comes time to break a shot. Keep that gun moving and break the shot. When you hear a shot or just when your brain tells you to make a shot, keep all the shots on paper. Keep the gun moving the whole time. This will help you when you get in a gunfight. Any questions you may have, please post them below. I'm going to try and do as many of these as I can, indoor friendly as I can. Not all of them will be indoor friendly. Sorry. Uh, best, to, uh, you know, maybe you can do airsoft in the backyard for some of these drills. Thank you for watching. Ensure that your training and your practice is preparing you for the real world. Your real world. And not for the fantasy land of the shooting range. And have a nice day.